Hey everyone, uh, just doing a playthrough here of the demo that was released from the Gamescom conference from Sony. It was the PT demo, and I'm sure many of you have heard from it by now that it's not actually for a new game, it's a teaser for a well known game. And uh, I finally figured out how to beat it. So I said I might just do a playthrough, and if I can do it really quick. And maybe gets because there's this part at the end that's just an awful amount of bullshit to, uh, to figure out how to do this. It's amazing that it actually ever was figured out. But you know, if it wasn't for the internet, I wouldn't have figured this out for a long, long time. But uh, anyway, let's start. So 77 AZ Studio made this, which isn't actually a real studio. Some cryptic messages probably mean something. So straight away the graphics are just ridiculously good. That's the most realistic whatever kind of fucking insect thing that is. It's the most realistic one of them I've ever seen in my life. had these kind of like scratch marks on them you know how like prisoners measure their time when they're in prisons they scratch those lines it's probably a term for them but whatever but the, every wall is covered in them except for the ceiling the lightning looks great minute to midnight retrieved the rifle and shot his wife as she was cleaning up the kitchen after lunch. When his 10-year-old son came to investigate the commotion, the father shot him too. His six-year-old daughter had the good sense to hide in the bathroom, but reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 9-11 found the father in his car listening to the radio. Several days before the murders, neighbors say they heard the father repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. They said it was like he was chanting some strange spell. There was another family shot to death in the same state last month, and in December last year, a man used a rifle and meat cleaver to murder his entire family. In each case, the perpetrators were fathers. State police say this string of domestic homicides appears unrelated, though it could be part of a larger trend such as employment, child care, and other social issues facing the average family. And that right there is the guts of the story you're going to get. There's a little bit more, a few messages here and there, but that kind of describes the story as best as you're going to get it. And you'll notice we're back where we started. You have just seen the entirety of the gameplay area except for one door, one room that's locked right now. But it just keeps looping over and over like this, with some small changes each time. Door's locked. This is a lot scarier the first time I played it. It still is pretty creepy, but I'm kind of distracted by talking. I actually can't remember how to get that to open. Oh, now it's open. I don't know what triggered that, it must be just like a time thing. Now we were back to start the loop again. Something. 
Okay, might as well do this now. Uh, you'll notice this picture here on the wall has a message written on us. My voice, can you hear us? The sign, can you read us? I'll wait forever if you just come to me. Okay, it's ripped. Uh, there are torn pieces. I'll show you them all now, might as well. But the, you, I don't think you actually need them. So, anyway, here we go. There's one down at the bottom of this locker or stand. There we go. You just gotta zoom in, and some fucking foreign languages will appear each time you get one. So, there's another one here. Zoom in. What's that, Italian or some shit? So that's two, there is... Oh, there's one actually hidden in the pause menu. If you zoom in, the zoom button is R3, so just press R3 in the pause menu and... The face appears, or the piece. And you can see then on the picture, it's been filled in. Awesome, massively. There is a fourth one over here, in the corner. Jesus. Okay, that one got me. There's another one up here in the corner. Telephone is written there. Looks like German. Um, the last one then is, you'll see it better if you walk backwards down these steps. It is on the second last, or the second step. Zoom in. And there it is. Picture should be complete now. Yep, just a woman. So let's keep going. You can't run, by the way. If you could run, I would. That's cool. times Are these cockroaches looks like we've got a new type of insect so many insects man I hate this part come on you old bitch yep that got me good the first time. Not so bad when I when I'm ready for this. Some more cockroaches. cool. Everything's cool. See? Nothing to worry about. I don't know what the fuck that was. Was that the same woman? Or? It looked really tall. And we got a flashlight. It just flashing like that for some reason. That's cool. Meet sink fetus. That's disgusting. It looks like a rotisserie chicken. We got the mirror here, it's all scratched out though. Come on then. Let's 
that. Ain't even a big deal. And we've got a lighthouse at the end of the hall this time. The radio's back on. Whoa. That's not my shadow. See the shadow on the wall kind of convulse him. That's not me. Can't trust the tap water. Oh, this is the shadow again. I don't know if that means she's in front of me or behind me. And the door's locked. supposed to happen I think kind of sounds like she's eating yeah at the end so here we are in the room where we first started no insect this time This video might end kind of abruptly because of the 15 minute limit, but I'll just start recording again right away. So I might cut off mid-sentence. Okay, so now that we got our torch, we can see over in this corner. And let's have a zoom. I walk. I could do nothing but walk. And then, I saw no me walking in front of my cell. But, it wasn't really me. Watch out. The gap, the gap in the door. door. It, it's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only me is you? This brown paper bag is asking all the questions. Pretty cool guy. I like him. Oh wait, sorry, I forgot. I'm missing something here. You gotta look at this picture here, and you'll see it says gouge it out and a blue X. So you actually hit the X on your controller. And it gouges out her eyes. And the door opens. And if you heard that clicking sound, even after the door opened, that means that the loop is kind of over. It doesn't necessarily mean that the door is open. Forgive me, Lisa, there's a monster inside of me. Who is Lisa? The baby's crying again. Okay. So, this is the start of part two. Uh, I can hear them calling to me from what? I think I'm possessed. I can hear it behind me. I wish you'd fuck off. Uh, yeah, so that window also got me good the first time. Not so bad the second time. Is this sloshy noise? Okay, this is new. It's a refrigerator. So a little bit more of the story is revealed. So you can see over here, it says, I can hear them calling to me from, and then blank. You gotta fill in the rest of the word by going over here. 
Okay, I need to do a loop. It's not there yet. It should appear now. Once I go through here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so when this red light is here, that's when you'll know it's ready. And the baby's screaming violently. Okay, so you see. Hello. And then we'll come over here. Door's open, but there's nothing in there. Sounds like the baby's inside us. And now we got an L over here. And you'll see the L is missing from here. So you just gotta keep going back and forward. There we go. And the door clicks. Even though it wasn't locked, that means the loop is over, so you can go through to the next stage. And what is next? Okay. You'll notice now, all the pictures are fucked up, and you can run. So basically you just have to loop a couple of times. What you want to do is, you see all the picture frames? You'll be looking for one that's on the floor. So keep going around until you see one on the ground. There we go. And look up where it should be and you'll see a hole. Now it's important that you keep your finger held on the zoom button this whole time. And until it automatically kicks you out. So I'll just play it now. get a message now, no turning back now, and the door click, even though there's actually not a door. So basically, a bit of a story there, it sounds like a father lost his job, oh wait, there's more, sorry, go into the toilets. You got fired, so you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part-time job working a grocery store cash register. Only reason she could earn a wage at all is the manager liked how she looked in a skirt. You remember, right? Exactly ten months back. That is some surreal shit. Fetus Baby has a much deeper voice than I would have expected. But anyway, now you're back to walking speed. Eventually you'll see a clear light instead of all these red lights. Kinda wish I could run again. Here we go. Back to normality. Or as normal as you can get in this game. Okay, we're back. There's nothing you can do for this one except just wait. You'll notice the screen will start to get a bit like as a camera effect or something. You'll see what I'm talking about in a sec when it starts. There's only one man who pull off some kind of shit like that. But anyway, this will kind of fool you into thinking that the game has crashed. Some people actually believe that it was over at that point. Because it does look like it's starting all over from the beginning again. But there is some differences when you start. So 
first of all, you notice that the insect isn't there. And the insect is only there at the very beginning, so you'll know it that way. Also, you still have your torch, which you did not have at the beginning. Let's see, does he say anything this time? I can hear scraping. I don't remember that before. Is someone scraping on the walls? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Now, this is the last part. Now, this might take a whole video by itself because it's some massive amounts of bullshit. So, you start here. One minute to midnight. So, this is your clue here. My voice, can you hear us? This sign, can you read us? I'll wait forever if you just come to me. So, my voice, can you hear us? So, at midnight, you'd want to head to the the radio. Wait for the bells to go off for midnight. And then zoom in on us for a while. And undisclosed amount of time, just like a good while. And then walk over that direction and a baby should giggle. And once the baby giggles, you can move on to step two. So we'll just try the step one first. Again, the video might cut out at some point halfway in between us, but I'll try and edit it out so it looks somewhat smooth. Okay, bell's gone. Zooming in. That's enough. Now, you hear how the noise is picked up there? Like an eerie sound? Okay, we got the baby to go off once. But now the ghost is here with us. So be very careful not to get caught by the ghost. Since so while we do this, let's have a look at step two. This sign, can you read us? Now this is the one that stumped everyone. What you need for this is a microphone. And now I'm wearing a headset so it should work automatically at some point. But basically all I have to do is keep talking or making some kind of noise into the microphone. And at some random point, the baby will giggle. So the ghost is gone now. She'll come back. She comes every 30 seconds or so. So this is the worst part for video editing wise, I'll just edit out the the long ways it takes. It shouldn't take too long. But again, what's triggering the second baby giggle will be my voice. In theory, it should. So what happened the last time I beat it anyway. And it's being confirmed on the internet, so yes. And then the ter what happens after the second giggle is that your controller will start to vibrate. And for me, all I had to do was stand perfectly still. So it says, I'll wait forever if you just come to me. So I just stayed perfectly still. The controller kept vibrating. I pressed some buttons on the controller. Don't press the OR3 button. I pressed like the face buttons and stuff. But that didn't seem to do anything, so you might as well just not do anything. And after the about 10 seconds of vibrating, it stopped. And there was a third baby giggle. And then the phone rang. So you want the phone to ring, by the way, I probably should have mentioned this. That's how you finish it. Hopefully at some point now, we'll get a giggle. Giggle, you little shithead. Such a ridiculous last puzzle. Like, even the clue on the wall is kind of vague. Again, there's no telling how long this might take. Just keep talking. Or to keep making noise, maybe even play music. Actually, when I did it the first time, I played a video of goats screaming on YouTube. They kind of scream like people. It's funny, but the game picked it up as voice, and it triggered the baby giggle. Okay, she's gone again. And yeah, she was terrifying the first time, but when you when you're here, I must be like, I d actually don't even want to guess how many hours. I put in to try and figure this fucking puzzle out by myself before I was finally told how to do it on the internet. I might need to play the actual fucking goat video to get this thing to work. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Which is okay, here we go. 
Enjoy the gold screaming. That's not my people. Goats never fail. Now at this point, my controller is vibrating. I'm not going to move an inch. It's vibrating and it's kind of getting harder and harder. It's still vibrating. And there we go. The third laugh, the phone is going to start ringing. So go up to the phone. Zoom in and I'm going to stay quiet for the rest of the video. You've been chosen. Except for this part here where I'll talk because the door is now unlocked. Well, the loop has unlocked. And once you go through this door, it's going to reveal what PT is all about. And PT stands for Playable Teaser. But for what game? with me. 